mimi naitwa James Hwatenge na babangu ana, alikuwa anaitwa Lando na babu yangu anaitwa Hwatenge so Hwatenge Lando Hwatenge lakini in Nairobi Technical I was James Hwatenge two names uh, kitu naweza sema ni kwamba I joined Nairobi Technical in 1975 na watu wengine huku. Ah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so 76. And then tukatoka 79. Uh, Mrs. Gadavi taught us English from form 1 to form 4. Na nimesikia akiita mtoto wake mmoja hapa kasema kumbe ile ukali haijaisha. Hiyo <laughs> 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 ukali haijaisha. Because hata kuna kawimbo tulikuwa tuna Zium na kumbuka life is such a beautiful eh? oh you nigga ndiko <laughs> nasabaga because alikuwa na, kuna kuna kitabu alikuwa anasema anasoma ambapo black nini black africans were all called john nigger so alikuwa anasema with of course a certain accent anasema boy be, john boy shari nigga <laughs> so na ile ukali <laughs> the only ukali ambayo it is found in a GSU training school ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, moragori tumekutana nae leo since november 1979 the first time ah uh, heho siku moja after joining this uh, group uh, cogs kuna siku aliniandikia kwa message akaniambia i have met your brother Yaani alikuwa amekaa pahali na nikapita akaniona macho ika lakini mimi sikumkumbuka yeye akanikumbuka sasa akasema lazima that is the brother to James Kwateng akaniandikia kwa message kwamba at i saw your brother nikamuuliza ulimwonea wapi akasema hapo karibu na Catholic church sijui nini nikamwambia that is me sasa ndio alishangaa ni kwa nini kwa nini siku mrecognize sasa akasema hiyo sura vile imekuja and that is we met after 39 years i wanted to say something about mwalimu mwalimu taught me hakuna mwalimu mwingine alinifunza nini english from form 1 to form 4 sasa hii kizungu ni nayo hai kutoka kwingine kwake tu mind us the mistakes Thank you for the correct for correcting me. Uh, from after I did my form 4, I joined a grammar school for maths, geography, economics plus Kiswahili. So hapo ndo tuliachana na kizungu. Kizungu yake. Your mistake nafikiri niliokota kigani. So from there Uh, after doing my A levels in Bungoma Boys I joined the police as a recruit nika Kiganjo nikamaliza 6 months then from Kiganjo I went to GSU training school for if you take out 10 days ningekaa ningekaa magadi huko walishoot mtu sio if i would have stayed for 10 more days ningefikisha 3 months in GSU training it is because i was being taken to operation areas So we huko hakuna OB. Mm. You just get a shift or angoroko. Who blinks fast? Eh? Mm. So <laughs> nika, nikamaliza huko. After GSU I joined CID training school and special branch training school. I became a, a special branch officer. Na what I can say and my tribute to madam is that when I joined uh, special branch I was placed in a section that was collation and dissemination of intelligence that is unajua tulipo joint police tulikuta watu wengine hata walikuwa nalipwa mshahara na kidole so i could be called to write re- intelligence report on somebody na nikiandika i remember i had a luo boss in mandera called uh, jabuya and he used to tell me that uh, your report ikienda mm-hmm. province mm-hmm. na pia ikienda national nyati house Nobody ever questions it. It is so clear. 
your English, your report, whatever. I've never written a report in Kibukusu. I've never written a report in I've always written intelligence reports in English. English. And who taught me English? <laughs> and uh, because of that, I was placed in strategic uh, positions. I, if you mention of any intelligence officer in Kenya, I think Nina Karibia James Kanyotu. That is why. <laughs> and you know, Brother James, in intelligence, at Uitani, sir, I'm a fan. Tunaitana, brother. So, Brother James Kanyotu was our overall boss. I was placed in, in a section where I could gather more intelligence. And that is why I am a working encyclopedia about political assassinations in Kenya. Uh, from uh, Gamma Pinto.